Welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to add scrolling text to the bottom of our new screen. Now, you could use the very same effect to get text that appears larger on the screen, uh, maybe like your main titles, but I'm going to make a sort of breaking news banner across the bottom. So to do that, we get our playhead to where we want the text to appear, and then just go to the Insert Text option here and choose caption. Now by default it just comes up with the name of the file and places it in the video track but that's kind of got in the way of my launch video so I don't want it there. So the first thing I'm going to do is move it. So I just click and drag it up to my overlay track where it's no longer sort of getting in the way of this track. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is put in some sensible writing for my message. So this is going to be uh, breaking news. Man goes to moon. Okay, that's what I want it to say. And I'm going to double click on it to select that text. And it's already helpfully given me the format options, but if it didn't, I could just go to properties and then format. And I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to try something quite newsy like this. And you could choose one of these built-in styles, actually, if you wanted. Just click on it and it sets that style, but I don't particularly want that one. Or maybe I'll go with this one. This, this, this looks fine. Um, now, it's a bit big, so what I can do is I can just make it a bit smaller. Okay. So get it the right sort of size. That's probably about right. And I'm going to put it down here. What I'd like to do now is make it so that it moves across the screen. So to do that, I just go to General, and where it says Scrolling, just go down and choose Right. Scrolls to the right. And it gives you uh, this little scroll bar, and you can just check its start and end points. So it's going to, it's going to be there, it's going to move across, and that looks pretty good to me. Um, now, this is quite important. Um, by default, it will take as long as the clip that you previously had selected, it will take that long to go on the screen, uh, which might be good. You might want a message up for the entirety of the clip, but I don't. I'd quite like to maybe have two of these running around, or I might even want to duplicate it so that it kind of runs through twice. So to do that, all I need to do is, this here is my text. If I hover the mouse at the end, it gives me this kind of... Um, looks like a, well it's supposed to mean cutting and I can just drag that back and what it will do is it will reduce the length of my text clip so that it doesn't take as long to run through. Uh, so what I can do now is I can go back in the playhead, press play and it might be a bit jerky to start with um, because it's just generating it all on the fly but don't worry about that, when you export it it will look really smooth and really good. So that looks good, that's going across nicely, I like that. And what I can do now is I can copy and I can paste. Oh, that didn't work. Should just be able to paste if I just go to the place where I want it in the playhead. Edit paste again, there we go. And now I'll have two of them. So if I watch now, gets to the end and it starts again. So that means I've got that kind of continual scrolling. Now obviously if I had different headlines I could have done completely different text on this second one so perhaps we could make this um, let's see um, uh, pig flies to Mars. There we go, the pigs are beating us. So Breaking news, man on the moon. Breaking news, pig flies to Mars.